Welcome to the Remind tutorial on sending messages. So you already have taken the tutorial on how to set up your class and you know exactly what it is that the layout looks like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to dive into probably the most important part of Remind, which is to send a message home. So what you want to do is you want to click the class that you want to send a message to. In Remind, you have a several different options. You can send to your whole class. So as you'll see here, it's set to every, send everyone your first announcement. Or you can also send it to individual people. Here's how you send a message. What you want to do is you want to click on this pencil icon. That will bring up this box. And please note that the default is to send to the whole class. If that's not what you want to do, please make sure that you click the class off. At this point, we have carte blanche. We haven't decided who we're going to send it to. Let's say we don't want to address everyone in the class, but just one person. To do that, you can do it in a couple of different ways. You could go down to your people and find one, or you can simply go up and type in the box to whom you wish to address. So I want to send Jason a message. I click the box. Jason shows up. I, in fact, note that that's who I want to send it to. And I check, I double check, and I triple check to make sure that it's going to the person that I want it to. Now, a default box comes up. It's relatively informal. Well, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I customize this a little bit. So I will type in Jason. Welcome to class test, uh, test class one, as if I put a lot of effort into this. Now, please note that Remind will translate for us using the Google Translate software. To do that, it's real simple. What you want to do is you want to highlight what you want to translate. You want to copy that by hitting Command C, which I've just done, and then I'm going to translate what's on my screen into whatever language that I'd like. In this case, we'll run to Spanish. I then put my cursor back in front of the Spanish translation and I paste the English translation back in. Now, this does look a little jumbled. I've got my English translation and my Spanish translation, so I'm addressing the needs of all of my students, but it doesn't look very good. So what I want to do is I want to hit where the cursor is, shift and return, and when I do that, it will put gaps between my English and my Spanish translations to make it a little bit easier to see. At this point, I could hit send and Jason would receive both the English and Spanish translation. Please note, if the user is using a cell phone and their default is to use Spanish, Remind will automatically be translated into Spanish on their phones. Now, note also that you can add materials. So if you'd like to upload a photo or video, here's your link to do so. If you'd like to upload a file, you could do so. Quizlet, Google Drive, Classroom, and OneDrive. So for example, if we want to upload a file, We'll simply do that and click open. Please note then that the file shows up and it's as simple as that. To delete a file, if let's say you do the wrong one, just X out and choose the correct one. Google Drive works very similarly. We'll go to grade two social studies framework and then we realize that Jason doesn't have a second grader, so we'll just back out. Let's say that we want to send Jason that photo again. So we'll upload the photo and now Jason's going to receive an English, a Spanish translation, and our photo. Once we hit send, a word of warning, there is no undo button. So check, make sure, triple check that your audience is who you intend it to be, that everything makes you look like the professional that you are, that you have the correct attachments, and then once you've done that double and triple check, feel free to hit send. At that point, as I said, there are no comebacks, there are no returns, so you cannot undo it. Now, you'll note that if I click on Jason's name, he has received his English translation, his Spanish translation, and the image that we sent him, and he's all set and ready to go. Now, as always, should you have any questions that you'd like clarified on Remind or anything else, please feel free to reach out to your instructional coaches for, the, for assistance. Have a great school year.